Welcome back 3D students. In this video I'm going to show you how to make bridges and possibly a gatehouse for your castle. So let's get started. I think the first thing I'm going to do, and you could do this too from time to time when you're working on something, just select everything and hide it. You right click bring up the quad menu, you can just hide everything. And that allows you to have a blank space that you can work in without any distractions. So the first thing we're going to need for this is a box. So let's just make a box that looks, I don't know, something like about that. And then we need to give this some subdivisions. So let's go to the Modify tab. Your box should look kind of rectangular and thick like that. Kind of like that toy thing that we made a while ago. So let's see, we need three length segments. If you made yours the way mine is, it might be width segments for you. And then a number of width segments, maybe 11 or 12, whatever. It kind of depends on how big this thing is. And then we're going to put an edit poly at the top of the stack so that we can now take these two edges here and move them over. So I'm going to double, I'm going to switch to edge mode. I'm going to double click on this edge and move it over there. So that these are basically square and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Then we're going to switch to polygon mode. I'm going to click on this first one. And you can see I still have that shading turned off. You can turn that on and off by using the F2 key on your keyboard. I'm going to click on the first one and I'm going to hold down control and double click on the last one. Then I'm going to hold down control and click on this one, hold down control and double click on the last one. So I'll select these two rows. And then I'm going to use the shift move technique to extrude those upwards like that. And then I'm going to select every other one. This should look familiar to you. And see, I didn't really choose the right number here. But I can fix that. Watch how I'm going to fix it. Just extrude another one out like that. Okay, now that I've got it even, make sure I didn't select anything by accident and then extrude those up. And then turn off polygon mode. Now we can go a couple of different ways here. This can be a bridge on its own, or you can add a bend modifier to it. and um, bend it a little bit to make sort of an arched bridge. Or, even better, we can select these bottom polygons right here, all of these. Select the first one, double click on the last one, select all these bottom polygons, and add a bend modifier just to them but in the x-axis like so. Now that's even better. Watch what we can do with this. I can bend that like that and then I can switch to, I can add an edit poly on the top of the stack here. Switch to edge mode and we can grab this edge right here. I just double clicked on it and move it out so it's even with this. Do the same thing here. Then we can take these polygons and extrude them down. But I think what I want to do actually is take these, hold down shift and extrude them out some. Same thing here. About, about the same amount. And then take these, and extrude them down. Actually, let's take all of these, and 
extrude them down like that. Now to flatten these out here, we can use a very simple technique if you select the scale tool and scale them only in the z-axis that flattens them out and that's a really neat technique. So now you have a bridge, it can be a gatehouse, uh, you can repeat this like that to make an arched bridge. You can unhide everything else and we could take our tower and put it on the other side and we suddenly have a gatehouse that could be used with our wall sections. So that's how you create an arched bridge that can also be used for a gatehouse. To texture it, simply um, use the texture you already have for your uh, castle wall. Can't remember which one I used. By the way, if you select one of your objects here and look at your materials, you can see these little corners on it, on them. And if the corners are there at all, see the corner, this one doesn't have any corners. That means the material has been used in the scene. If they're filled in white like that, then that's the material that you have used on the selected object. So this is the one I used on the wall. So all I need to do is apply that to there and put a UVW map on it. Okay, so in the coming videos, we'll do all sorts of things like stairs and... Uh, other types of uh, gates, like a portcullis, we'll do um, we'll do other buildings and other accessories that we can put around the castle yard. And I'll see you in the coming videos.